Hey, what's up? Steve Richards here. Uh, tuning in for another uh, video on the Flat Earth. Talk about the Southern Hemisphere, but first, real quick, gonna play a quick little excerpt from one of my favorite songs by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You'll see why. Most of you already know it. Most of you love it. Most of you already know the lyric. It's just, you're blind sheep and have no idea what they're actually saying. So, get ready to wake up and take a listen. It's interesting. Mary McGowan in the savage to the world in my very own constellation. A teenage guy with a baby inside gets high on information. And buy me a star and a bullet out, it's kind of interesting huh I don't know about you but immediately that sounds like a hidden message within a song there's hidden messages everywhere ladies and gentlemen the Simpsons hidden messages predicted Donald Trump to run for president I think it was in 2000 or 2001 and eerily the uh, picture in the show lined up with one of his uh, one of his little uh, get-togethers but so just another example. We'll get back on topic here. Back to a good old uh, flat earth. Today uh, we're we'll going to be talking about the uh, southern hemisphere and some uh, flight patterns and flight paths. Um, the pattern I've noticed is uh, they're using straight lines on the flat plane. And uh, when you model these out on the globe, the uh, flight paths, they, uh, they make zero sense. They are all over the place. Like one example, uh, a flight from from South America to Australia stops in Dubai. <laughs> yeah, and they're not South America. In South Africa, stops in uh, Dubai. Now on a globe, should be a straight shot. But in one moment, I'm going to bring up what I'm talking about. I figure you guys might get a better uh, understanding of it that way. So, should be coming up right, right now. There we go. So, yeah. Let's look at the little picture on the left first. That's what's happening on your globe. They're going straight up to Dubai and then straight down to Australia. Making the flight a total of 12,239 miles. When on a globe, it should only be around 600, 937 miles. Right. Because there's shortcuts on a globe, not on a flat Earth. Now, if we take a look at the picture on the right, it makes a lot more sense on what's going on there. They're starting there. They're starting in uh, Johannesburg. Or Cape Town, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In Cape Town. Uh, doing a straight line to Dubai to refuel and all that uh, other good stuff. And then just to... Uh, Continue going straight to uh, Sydney. Now, if anyone wants to argue against that, you can look these up yourself. This is just a uh, pretty cool picture that I found describing the phenomena with some uh, good facts around it. Uh, you can go on Flight Tracker or FlightPaths.com and um, track flights. You're gonna notice when they go over the uh, southern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere over the oceans, uh, whatever flight you're tracking. You won't be able to track no more. That has happened to me before. I've looked at a flight, uh, got up, got some food, came back. I think it was uh, last I saw, I was over at Madagascar, and it was gone. Happens all the time. You just gotta keep your eyes peeled. But then it showed up about like five hours later over India. I don't remember where it was going, so I'm not gonna give any false information. That's all I can. Remember, that was that was a while ago. It was about, about a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this flat earth thing for uh, four years now. Well, I've been researching it, looking into it for four years. It was brought upon me by a good friend of mine, Dylan Taylor. Shout out to you and your father. You guys are very smart men. You guys are on the right path. So are so are we all. We're just trying to get this message out, wake the uh, wake the people up. Wake the sheep up, because they're all just being herded by uh, the bad people. 
All right, so enough about this one. I've got another uh, flight over here we can talk about. It is a uh, flight from, looks like, Sydney to uh, Chile. And uh, on a globe, makes no sense of why it would stop in Colorado. Uh, looks like Los Angeles or even, uh, or even uh, Washington State up there. That's the globe. That's making, like, on a globe, it should just be a, a straight, like, 6,000 mile, uh, 6, 7,000 mile flight, but they're uh, prolonging it to around uh, 10, 11,000 miles. You know why? Because they have to prolong it. It's a flat earth. It's a straight line from Australia to uh, the west coast of the United States, and then another straight line from the west coast of the United States down to Chile. It's all one line they're doing. Anyone wants to argue that? It's just looking. It's just a troll looking, looking for attention, and that's what most of you trolls are doing. You guys must have not have been loved as a child or something, and you're just crying out for attention, trying to bash someone you think you can bash. And the thing I don't get is most of the people who troll on me and and other flat earthers, most of them, not all of them, because some of them do have like school, like like background and being good in school and all that stuff, are in college now, succeeding and being indoctrinated, but. The other ones either A dropped out, B finished with D's, or C I saw them in the hallway more than I than I was in the hallway. So, like I don't like you guys are like oh let's give it to the man fuck school blah 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 they're teaching us crap but the earth is a globe. I don't, I don't understand that. Like you guys should be the ones to wake up first. Like I just don't understand that. Like you guys already understand that school was complete bullshit, and now. <laughs> and now you guys are just trying to defend it. That I don't get. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole at all. It's just something that I do not understand. You guys are all about the trying to give it to the man and you, all this. Oh yeah, it's all a straight line. It doesn't make any sense on, on why they would do this on a globe but on a flat plane. They make perfect sense, as we can see. This is not false information. I'm not looking for attention. I'm trying to spread the truth. And I don't care if I get bashed for it, because it's truth. It really is. Another one here. England to Texas. Why is it going to stop in Canada? Oh, I'll tell you why. Because it's a flat freaking earth. England to Texas should be a straight line over the, over the Pacific. Maybe stopping in uh, Florida, but they're flying over Canada. Because it's a straight line, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how many more times we have to beat this horse. I have other people saying, oh, give me a list of your of your top ten flat earth proofs. And I'll debunk them all. Well, debunk this. And debunk the 200 proofs that Eric Dubay put out. And then I'll make a list of ten more you can debunk. But are you, you're not going to be able to debunk, to debunk this one. And some people say, oh, it's, uh, it's the economics. You gotta stop here and stop there to balance out the economy. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Who gives a shit? Like, they, they have to stop there because they're running out of fuel. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a globe. It's a lot bigger than a globe. It's like, supposed to be 25,000 miles around the circumference of the equator on the globe. Yes, yeah, it's the same thing on the flat Earth, but when you go through more southern, it gets wider and wider, and the lines of latitude just uh just aren't as accurate and you can't track them down there you really just can't track the the planes down there either. that's why they fall off of the uh the, the quote-unquote gps system like the flight paths northern hemisphere southern hemisphere like it, it, it's right here on the screen it's proven it to you it's a flat line it's so flat it's a straight line i'm sorry a little shot right now but no big deal. Uh, we got another image coming up. Just uh, pretty much uh, saying what I've been saying the whole time. Let me bring it up. There it is. Now you never see a plane above Antarctica or the oceans in the southern hemisphere. You know why? Because they're not being tracked down there, first of all. And second of all, they have no reason to go over there because if they do, they're going to just get lost. Like, I'm willing to bet money that flight, whatever, from Malaysia or Boeing Airlines, the flights that got lost this summer, I'm willing to bet they try to 
take a shortcut, and they ended up who who knows where. Ended up somewhere over the Pacific or the Indian Ocean, or somewhere where they meet and just never found again because they ran out of uh, gas. Yeah, this is just uh, this is just simple and basic. I'm not trying to make this complicated for you guys. I'm trying to dumb it down so we can all understand it and move on. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I got for this one. And by the way, I'm doing this all unscripted, so this is all just off the dome. I don't really. I take notes for some of my videos, but this one's just too easy. You don't even have to take notes. So, on that note, hope you all have a great day, night, or afternoon, wherever you are. Any uh, questions or concerns, email me at scubasteve2114 at gmail.com. And uh, other than that, hope you guys have a great day. And flat on, everyone. Flat on.